today is I'm going to try and replicate a TRX and um, we're going to do it at a door with a towel today and we're going to do some work on the floor. Um, so I want you guys to just be mindful. If you have socks on, please take them off um, just so that you have a little bit of grip on the feet. Of grip on your feet. You really don't need a lot of space. All you're going to need is your door space and the length of your mat. That's all we're going to need for straight from there again. Alright, so what you've done is you've tied a knot behind your, at the end of your towel, you've opened it up nicely and closed the door. Okay, so when you hang with your weight on the towel, there should be no slipping, no sliding. It should be able to pull a lot of your body or your full entire body weight. So just on the towel. Okay, everyone good? Alrighty, so what we're going to start with is you're going to hold on to the two ends of your towel for me. And you're going to lie back so you're in a almost a, a hanging plank position. There. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start our bodies off in a C curve. And we're going to articulate it up into extension. So I want you to think slightly bit of a, a hooded cobra. Okay, can everyone see me? Are we good? Okay. So you're going to be lying in that extended position for me there. And I want you to first just pop your chest up to the ceiling. So your eye line should follow the line of your spine. Ribs are pulled down into your front pockets, but you're still extending through the spine. From there, you're going to start. Nod the chin to the chest. You're going to hollow the tummy as you slowly start to C-curve and hang the body back on the towel. And then again, you're going to reverse articulate into that extension at the top. Glide the ribs into your front pockets and use your back extensors to lift you there. And exhale, nod the chin to the chest as you slowly round and scoop through your spine and create a beautiful C curve stretching over the shoulder joints there. And again, round, scoop, curl and lift into your extension. Feel how hard your abs are working in that position. Nod the chin down to the chest as you slowly round up. And slowly extend through the spine, C-curve as you articulate down for two. And inhale and extend, chest extends up towards the ceiling. And the last one, you're going to C-curve. From your C-curve, I want you to unfold your tail for me so that you end up at a 90 degree seated position by the knees. Hands still holding on to your um, towel for me. All right. So in that position there, we're going to do small little rotations. Okay. So you're going to peek through your shoulders and your arms there as you add a little bit of a thoracic rotation. So one shoulder drops down towards the floor and the other one there elevates up. Okay. So you're going into that rotated position for me. So you're seated. Good. And we twist. Rotating. So you should feel the lat just slightly stretching and we're also creating that beautiful thoracic mobilization this early in the morning. Center, rotate and center. Let's go for another five. Draw through center, four and center, three. Make sure you're not just hanging but that you're also supporting with those legs. Last one, you're going to come back up. And just give those shoulders a quick little breather. All right. One more exercise for your warm-up. You're going to sit down into your chair, but a half a chair. So I don't want you to go all the way to 90 or lower. You want to lift just a little bit higher. We're going to add a cat stretch. So I want you to scoop through your lower spine and release. So you're going to tuck your tail and think cheeky bum. Scoop and curl using abs and obliques. So lower abdominals and obliques. And then release with your back extensors to reach the tail back and behind you. Then we scoop, release, exhale, scoop, tuck, and release, and scoop. Using those lower abdominals, firing into the obliques as that transverse abdominis, the six pack and the obliques tucking the tail in. And then release the tail to pass neutral. And scoop, and release. You're working purely from your lumbar spine here. Scoop and tuck. Inhale, release, and let's go for five more. Scoop and tuck, and release. Four to go. Those hands are already getting tired. And release, last three. And release, two more. Scoop and tuck, 
and release one more. You're going to hold your chair position for me and you're going to extend your tail behind you. Straighten your right leg up and off of the floor. So all your weight is now supported on only one side, on your left side. You're going to bring that leg through as we go into a big dipper position through there. That's it. You're going to tuck knee in and sit it back down into a single chair squat, a um, pistol squat there. And then we go and then you're going to extend back and over. The knee stays nice and soft and it's almost a pivoting motion around the hip joint before you lower the knee into your pistol squat. Give me full extension of the hip there without going into your lower back and sit the tail back down. And we go for another six and down, lift, five. You should feel your glute and your quad firing on your stabilizing side for four. Draw in and lower down. Three more as you extend away. Tuck the knee in and sit down. Last one. Hold it there. Hold it there. Standing leg is going to bend just a little bit and straighten out for ten. Bend it in and extend up for nine. Feel how that glute starts to fire. Eight. Check your knee tracking in line with second and third toe for seven. Down for six. Five. Spread those toes and make sure that there's more weight over the heel of the foot. That drive through the heel will help activate the glute a little bit more. Two more. It should be burning nicely. Last one there. You're going to lift up and stand the body up nice and tall. So you're going to stabilize. Knees and feet are about a hip width apart. Holding on to the edges of your mat. We're going to sit down, reach the tail behind you and extend the leg away from you. Try and not tuck the bum there. I want you to think cheeky bum. Good. We're going to lift up and pivot the body forward. For 10. Check in with those shoulders. Don't allow them to creep up to the ears. Two more. One last one. You're going to bring the body up and relax. We're going to go into a wide grande plie or a wide stance facing your door. Okay. So for me, my feet are just on the outsides of my mat. I'm going to hang back into my plank-like position and I'm going to sit down as low as I can, maintain a neutral spine. So I'm working a little bit of hip mobilization here and then from the bottom here, I'm going to squeeze my glutes as I lift. So I'm only making use of the, the um, towel to assist me in that vertical lowering down, but I'm not using a lot of arms. All my work is through the legs. We go down for a deep squat and squeeze the glutes. Lower down for nine and squeeze. Slowly down on eight. Lift up through the glutes and the quads. Seven. Give me full hip extension, Lisa Sun. Down for six. When you lift, pull up and squeeze the glutes. Five more. Lower. Exhale. Extend for four. And lift. Good. Three more to go. And lift. Down on two. And lift. Last one. I want you to hold it down for me. You're going to lift those legs up just about 10 centimeters. You should feel the quads start to activate. We hold it there for 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and lift up just a little bit higher. We start pulsing. Squeeze those glutes. Think of holding on to a tennis ball between the sit bones and pulse. Your legs should start quivering at this stage and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one, lower down, lower down, lower down, and squeeze the glutes all the way up. Good work. All right, did you feel those? Legs are burning. Okay, so you're going to be in that vertical position. I want you to extend one leg long and behind you. We're going to go down into a lunge, but my back foot is elevated off of the floor. Right, so I'm holding it there. You're going to lift up 
into a runner's pose and sit the leg back down into a lunge. Now look at your front leg. I need that knee to stay above or behind the ankle at all times. You should, for, you should always see the front of your foot or your toes as you go down into that lunge. Slowly down for another six. And we pulse. Ten, nine, eight. The work is coming from my legs, not my arms. Five more. Four, three, two, one. And lift the leg up nice and strong. Good. All right. Square off the hips, hip width apart for me. Now we have to do the other side as well. So we're going to lift up, hang back into your plank like position, and you're going to set your knee down to just touch the floor and lift. Down we go for nine. And exhale, lift. Down for eight. And lift. Seven. Work through the quad and the glute of your stabilizing side. Six more. And lift. Five. And lift. Come off the back. For four. Exhale up. Three more. And lift. Go. We're going to go into, again, you're going to do a nice wide stance for me in front of the door. We're going to go into side lunges to a curtsy lunge. Right. So hanging back gently, we're going to go one leg. So just showing you from the side. You're going to go one, two, lift, cross. Okay, so you're bending into the one side. Right, so we go side lunge, side lunge. Lift the bent leg up and curtsy. And side lunge, side lunge. You should be alternating then there now. And curtsy, side lunge, side lunge. You lift the bent leg up and curtsy, side lunge. Side lunge, lift the bent leg, one and side, side and curtsy, come all the way back up and catch a breather. Quickly have a sip of water before we go into the single leg exercises. Those hands, I'm going to feel it, okay, we don't grip enough anymore with those hands, they have to. Right, when you're ready, you're going to again hold on to the edges of your, your towel. I like to just slightly externally rotate my arms so my palms are facing up. That way I'm also stabilizing through my shoulders a little bit more and my wrists don't take that much strain. Right, so I can get that pressure downward through my thumb into the towel. Alright, so from here we're going to go into your double seated squat position. You're going to lift up your right leg and we're going to go into hip extensions from there. Alright, so we're going to extend the hip behind you. Squeezing the glute, you're stabilizing your weight through your left leg, that standing leg. And you want to think deep extension to the back, activating the hamstring and your glute max. Right, so sit down, hold on tight, and we extend it. Take it out to the side, draw back in for 10, 9, Eight, so you're opening and closing. You can bend the leg if your hip flexor is kicking in too much. Five more. And for four. Three to go. Keep those hips forward. Two and one. Bring it all the way in and up. Good work. Square off those hips. Hip width apart. And we're going to do the other side. Down we go into your chest squat. You're going to extend your left leg back and behind you. And we go into those hip extensions, keeping your pelvis neutral and stable. And we extend through the hip. Back we go. Ten. And extend. Nine. Keep ribs down. Eight. And for seven. Six. And for five. So step the legs a little bit closer to your door. Five. And for four. Nice. Three more. And two extensions. Last one. You're going to straighten the leg up out in front of you. And we take the leg out to the side. Draw back in. Keep hips forward. And for nine. And in. Exhale. Out. Eight. Draw in. For seven. And in. Six more. And for five. Exhale for four. Three more. 
and for two. Last one, draw in and stand up tall. Well done. That concludes our legs. We're going to move up into arms now. Not that they haven't been working hard already. So what I want you to do is we're going to do all the door facing, then back facing and side facing arm work. Okay, so for the door, I want you to face the door. You're going to hold on to the sides of your towel, the ends. And then I want you to just turn your palms up so the towel will roll over the thumb. You're going to be in that extended position. Your arms stay in that line. And we're going to add a bicep curl in that position. Now you have to keep those shoulders down and supported. The head stays in line with the spine and you're pulling your full body weight up through your arms there. Okay, ready and let's go. Curl, 10, release slowly, 9. The slower you release, the harder the muscles work, 8. And for 7, the upper back is working just as hard for 6. And release, 5. And extend, 4 more. Release for three, and two more to go. One last one, curl, hold your curl, hold your curl. We reach the arms up and down for 10. So you're relatively upright. Nine, you're holding that bicep curl in an eccentric, concentric position for me, and you're lifting and lowering through the arms for another five. It's burning for four. And for three, bring those elbows in a little bit narrower for me, Lindy, for three more. And for two, and for one, you're gonna straighten the arms out and release. Palms turn down towards the floor, and we're gonna do a high row. You're gonna pull those elbows out, bring the towel to underneath your chin, and slowly extend. And again, pull out, extend. Extend. Out, two, one last one, we're going to take it straight from there into a low row. So you're drawing your elbows down towards the rib cage for me. Ten, extend, nine, extend, eight. You're using only your body weight here. This is what makes it so awesome. Five more, for four. Keep ribs in your front pockets, your upper back and your abs are working hard. Two. One last one, one last one, pull up and catch a breath here. Good work, all right. We're going to do um, overhead raises. So your arms have to remain relatively straight for this. You're gonna hang back, okay. Arms are gonna be straight, elbows just soft and off the hook for me. You're going to extend your spine and reach your arms overhead and slowly release back down. That's it, and keep your ribs more stable for me there, Christina, so you don't go into that rib pop once you start lifting the arms, okay? Simone, for you, you can just go into more rows for me here to not lift the arms up overhead, okay? Good, and we go up, 10, and slowly release. Nine, and down, eight. Last one, one last one, okay, Simone, Exercise for your shoulders here, you're going to do a single arm row. So you're going to go one arm, extend. Other arm, extend. Okay, the rest of you are going to do a full arm raise up into small bit of rotation. So it's an overhead pull with a rotation up as you lift. Okay, so it's the same as the double arms, you're just adding a small rotation here. And it's only one arm moving at a time. With this one, you should feel a little bit more. Bring it all the way in. Good. All right. We're going to go back into that bicep curl. You're going to hold the bicep curl. But this time, you're going to open and close your elbows. All right. So you want to try and reach to touch the elbow and then open up as wide as your towel will go. Okay, Simone, these will be really nice to stretch out those tight muscles, but you can bring the hands a bit lower down if that lifted position feels too loaded for you. Okay, so we're going to go into that bicep curl, hold it there, and we squeeze elbows together for 10, release, squeeze 9, release, and for 8, you should feel the muscles working over the back of the shoulder blades, 7 more, 
and squeeze, six. You want to get those elbows pressed together for five. That's the hardest work, four. And keep those elbows lifted for three to go. And open for two. And open, moist your side. One last one, one last one. And slowly relax. Good work. Let's just stretch out those arms. You're going to have your arm extended in front of you. And I want you to just cross it over your chest there for a lovely stretch from the back of the shoulder blades. That's it. And let's do the other side. Good work. You're going to give those hands a shake down. All right. We're going to do back facing now. So in other words, you're going to have your back turned towards the, um, the door. All right. I want you to take your, cross your loops over. So I want you to take your right loopy and put it in your left hand and your left loopy put it in your right hand. So your towel will be crossed over above head for me there. Okay, you're going to be hanging forward with arms in front. Simone, I'll give you a modification if you feel uncomfy in this position, but just let me know, okay? So you're going to lean forward into a plank-like position. Draw your ribs down into your front pockets in order to support from your front line there. And we're going to straighten the arms as the body lifts up and bring it back down. Straighten and bring it back down. Simone, if that overhead position is bothering you, you're going to have hands against the door. Just take your towel away in a diamond shape. You're going to rest it on the door and you're going to do little tricep presses against the door or against the wall there. Okay, so do what feels safe and comfy for your own body. Let's go for another six and extend away for five. Reach those arms away. Four more. And for three, you guys are looking so strong. Two to go. One last one, one last one. Pull up, you're gonna turn your palms to face away. And Simone, I'll give you a modified version here now. And you're gonna pull down through your lats as you bring the body upright and then slowly release. So just to face here, you're gonna do that movement there. Okay, so elbows are reaching down towards the floor and reach up and over, down towards the floor, and reach up and over. Simone, your movement here, you're going to stand against the wall, you're gonna do one arm out only, as you reach, slide the arm up against the wall as high as you can go, and then pull down. If you feel you can do both arms, then do, as long as you keep the ribs down and the neck extended there, okay. That's it. And try and reach those arms to touch above head and you only go to where your shoulder girdle. And one last one, one last one and bring the body nice and upright. All right, Simone, you can fall in with us again for the next exercise. Now for me, if I fold my towel up and hold it in, in one hand, it's a bit thick. I have to grip really hard for that. So I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. I'll have a little piece hanging to the side, but it's all good. So what I want you to do is to bring the leg that's closest to the door in front of the body and the leg that's furthest away from the door behind the body. You're going to lie into a side position there. You're holding on with both hands, but the outside arm's doing most of the gripping work here. Right. Your ribs are going to be pulled in, so your body's in a straight line. Your obliques are working quite hard. If you can do this with a single arm, you can cross your hand over your body there. And you're going to straighten the arm and pull up for a single arm row. If you feel that it's too weighted, Simone, you're going to pull with both arms. All right. So to the side and lift. Pull up and slowly release. It's the release that makes you work harder here, guys. It's because you have to control the entire body weight to straighten that arm. It's much easier to just collapse into the elbow and shoulder joint here, but most of your control actually comes from the release going down. It's more a contraction, not just a release. Good, and we pull up for another six, and down, and five. Tricep is working quite hard there as well. Four, and the bicep. Muscles at the back of the shoulder. Three more. Sure, you guys are killing me for two. 
And on one last one, you're gonna pull it up and slowly release. All right, we're gonna do same thing, turn around, grab your loopy, leg closest to the door in front, leg furthest away from the door behind. The outside hand will be holding on to the front loop, other hand either crossed over the body or you're going to be holding on to the, the towel. Lift up so you're not in an angle here and we pull, 10. And release, exhale, nine. And release, and for eight. In here as we go. We're going to do a little bit of jumping, like you would do with the TRX. And again, you're not making too much use of those arms. We're working through the legs. All right, I'm gonna go through the jumping exercises first, the full version of the movements, and then I will show you the modification after I've explained. So the guys that are, have decided to do the full jumps, you can then continue, all right? So you're gonna hold on to your towel. You're again leaning and you're gonna sit down into a parallel chair pose. We're gonna start with just small hops as we get those toes off of the floor there, okay? And then from there, we're gonna flow it. So we're gonna do 15 of each. We're gonna flow it into full extension straight legs going up and down. All right, that's your first exercise. For the guys that don't want to jump, movement's going to be here. You're going to do pulses up and down, up and down, and then you're going to do just your small hops where you just get your tippy toes off the floor. Your heart rate will still increase. You don't have to get that height. You can still just control it a little bit closer to the floor. All right, when you're ready, and we go down for parallel, chair pose. Hold it down for me, small little hops in your chair pose and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 5, 4, 3, 2, full version, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Bring it back in. Good job. Woo! All right, next one. You're gonna have feet in a first plie position. Facing the door, All right? For this one, wherever we jump, you feel too tired, you bring it down into your little pulses or hops, okay? So that will be your modification throughout, All right? We're gonna go from here in your turnout, knees turned out, and we're gonna do full little frog jumps here. Right, when you're ready, let's go. So hands on the sides of your tiles, and we hop 15, 14, 13, 12, small gentle lands, drop those heels to the floor after every repetition. Nine, eight, seven, Six, careful of sliding. Five, four, three. Give me full quad extension. Two more. And one, bring it down. Catch your breath, have a sip of water before we continue. All right. So for the next one, we're gonna go into that wide stance. We're gonna do just the hops, then the full extensions. All right, when you're ready. Righty, are you all still good? I'm killing myself here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go down into your chest squat, small little hops there. Just getting toes off the floor. Again, you want to think unicorns, butterflies, and fairies. So no elephants, just soft little ants. Soft little ants. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two full jumps and 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it all the way in. Good work, Angela. All right. I know, I know. You're going to bring it down. Holding it down to the floor then. We're going to do a single little hop. So we're going to have one leg up and hop. Alternating sides. You want to look... What are these, Russians? Okay, so you want to look like them when they're dancing. Right, and we go hop, 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 hop. Alternating legs there. That's it, and you can do it as fast or as slow as your 
body will allow. So you're basically running in a chair position there. We go, 10 more. For nine, eight, seven, six, I'm loving it, five more. For four, three more to go, two and one. Good job, that is your cardio set, done for now. <laughs> right, we're gonna go into some lateral work. So I really, really love working my obliques. My obliques have become one of my body's stability mechanisms that I completely have fallen in love with. Um, I think just because my rib cage was always so unstable, I've taught them to now become my support system. All right, so I love training and exercising them. Again, you can just hold on to a bit of your um, side here. Simone, if you can't manage this exercise, Again, I'll show you a modification just now. We'd rather want to keep that shoulder happy and safe. All right, so you're going to be hanging with the hand closest to the door. Okay, other arms going to be out to a T. You're going to reach back and behind you and serve. Rotate, touch your door. Slowly release and rotate. We're just going to do six and lift. Okay. Simone again, you against the wall there, one arm crossed over the body in a slight plank position and you're going to do a little side push up against the wall there. Right, that should give you the strength and stability that you're looking for but without overload. Right, so we're going to reach away, serve a platter towards the door and back three centre and for six, reach and slowly release. And five, reach and slowly release. Four more and release. Last three. Good, rotate for two. Simone, you're gonna continue with those arm presses for me. One last one. The rest of you guys, you're gonna grab both hands. You're gonna hang into a C curve to the side of your door and you're gonna lift the body up into plank for me and slowly back to C curve and lift six and slowly release down pull up for five you're adding rotation and lateral flexion here the body is working so hard shoulders working hard as well and down and over we go for another three and slowly down two more to go and one last one one last one and back to center we go. <laughs> 